think that when a politician does that, when they take the time and effort to get to know the community, when they visit the mosque, when they go, uh, there was actually a report recently of a man who, who claimed, he said, I hated Muslims. John Dutcher will straight out tell you what he thought of Muslims. I actually hated Muslims. And he said that um, once he got neighbors who were Muslims and he interacted with them, he was in tears. And he said, my I saw that. you saw that. Yeah, the women with their headdress on, you know, I just would sneer at him. Dutcher was surrounded by the people he loathed, but Muslims moving in moved him. It took this to, um, yeah, to, to wake me, you know, wake me up, yeah. A change of heart for the man who didn't realize he had such a big heart. Yeah. His whole attitude changed, and now he's like their big brother. So for politicians, for anyone out there, if um, you take the effort and you, um, you go and you meet your neighbors, you go to the local mosque, and you'll see that it, um, there's so much more we have in common, so many, uh, so many unifying forces that we have. There's a lot of commonalities. A right. lot. I mean, if, if people would focus on that and make that, it's so powerful, that human connection in Islam by itself is so powerful there's so much good there and I think if a lot of these people you know would take the time to come visit us visit the mosque get to know your Muslim neighbor yes. ask those tough questions we we address them here at the yes. Dean show right and uh, as a clinical psychologist uh, hate that doesn't that just breed more hate? It sure does. It sure does. I think if we are instilling this fear in people, it fear what it does, it immobilizes people, and it really makes them act irrationally. Mm. So the more fear that is instilled in the hearts of the people, the more radically they react to that. So you find that there's a lot of hate crimes, you find that people are, um, they are overreacting. And so definitely, if we can instill that sense of commonality, focus on that, then it truly makes a difference. And what's been very beneficial, I think the, um, you know, we always say that everything that happens, there's a wisdom behind it, and there's all khair. And what has happened is that it has galvanized so many people, so many good hearted non Muslims to, to uh, solidify and to join and in solidarity with the Muslims. So I find that a lot of khair is coming out of all of this. A lot of good is coming out. I a mean, lot that, of good that, is, that is strong. Out. That's what I'm saying. Look for the good. There are yes. a lot of the people are coming out of the woodworks. Right, They're right. They're seeing a lot of injustices, a lot of this hate pointed towards the Muslims. Yes. And they're like, this is unjust, it's not right. And they're getting to know the Muslims. They're That's speaking. Right. You saw the prayer the Muslims were praying. Yes, they were, that was beautiful. It's beautiful. And when you tune into the Dean show and you really get to know what Islam is about, you have a different understanding, a totally different perspective. We're going to be right back. We got to talk. We haven't even touched upon the five pillars of marriage. Yes. <laughs> We're going to talk about it more. Right. You want to save your marriage. We're going to get into what are these uh, the top 10 characteristics for conflict resolution, giving sure. people a taste of all the work that's on your site. We'll Sounds be talking good. about it here on the Dean Show. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 